The daily commute to work, especially if you're on a busy British motorway, has to be one of the most stressful and unproductive times in your motoring life. Well, today we're going to find out how we can get around that with a solution. It's called a road train. I'm about to do what I never thought I'd ever do, and that's to be driven automatically by a car. I'm about to experience autonomous motoring in a road train. The road train vehicle is now in front of me. The communication. I'm now pressing platoon activation to link up with the lead vehicle to tell them I want to join the platoon. I am now in autonomous mode. My hands off the steering wheel, off the accelerator and the brakes. The idea of this is for people, commuters, just like on a train, who commute on a motorway in Britain to join a road train and then instead of all of the hassle of driving in heavy motorway traffic on your way to work you can actually start work early and you can actually take your computer the cars in full control and I can start to do emails log on so I'm absolutely maximizing my time in the car now <laughs> it's a very very surreal feeling you know, we're increasing speed now, we're cornering on a bend on a four-lane motorway. But what if there is an accident? Say the truck driver goes off the road. Well, even then the situation is good because of the backup systems in the car. What happens when the truck driver sees a collision coming up, he will brake. And as soon as he brakes, that is notified via computers back to the cars in the convoy and they will automatically break and also there is an override facility for situations like that so that as this happens the control will be given back to the driver so he will be able to take action to avoid going off the road or avoid a collision i think the best comparison i can give is that driving in the road train for me was very much like getting on a commuter train the experience is dramatically similar and once I got over the initial strange feeling of sitting behind a steering wheel and not steering but actually working my computer it was amazing how quickly I actually became relaxed with it I think I've just driven the future and it's happened now the experts say that this may be 10 years before it can actually go fully into action but if you think that autonomous driving is sci-fi, let me tell you, it is not. It is very much a reality and it's going to come quicker than any of you think.